Okay, my friend. Let's jump right on in. We're getting ready for 4th of July. Yeah, and we have a lot of exciting events coming up. Um, on Wednesday, July 3rd, we will be having the Town of Fort Mill's Independence Day celebration. Um, and that's going to be at the Fort Mill Amphitheater in Walter Elijah Park um, from 6 to 9.30 p.m. Um, at, all you have to do is meet us at the amphitheater stage at 6 p.m. We're going to kick off the evening with our most patriotic contest. Um, so just show up there with your red, white, and blue and our Strawberry Queens and Barry. They're going to be picking the winners for that. And then at 6.30 p.m., we kick off our music with River Mist, um, and they are a classic rock, R&B, and variety band, and they were voted the 2023 Carolina Beach Music Awards Cami winner for Rising Star. Oh, wow. Um, and then they will also be um, the singing our national anthem for our Independence Day celebration at 7.30 p.m., um, where we will be celebrating the nation's 248th birthday. Wow. Um, our MC is Jim Slade, um, and then we'll have Council, our Strawberry Queen, special music um, during our ceremony. And then we'll end the evening with Blackwater Band, which plays top 40 blues, funk, and country. Um, and then, of course, our fireworks show is at 9.15 p.m. And we have 27 food trucks. <laughs> that wow. We've got everything covered for this event. Uh, 30 vendors will have roving entertainment. Piedmont Medical Center is sponsoring our kids' craft tent, so they'll be uh, doing all of that fun stuff at their location. And then State Line Productions, they'll be um, our DJ in the food court with music and bubbles. So it's just going to be a fun evening celebrating our nation's birthday. What about parking? Where do people need to park? Um, well, we have parking at um, Veterans Park at 106 North White Street, um, Looms Way, Calhoun Street Park. Um, but you'll be able to find all of that information as well as we'll have um, some road closures. We're also um, closing down Main Street during this event um, just so our downtown merchants can kind of have their own mm -hmm. little celebration um, as well. Perfect. Well, you can get, you can start celebrating the 4th of July on Wednesday, July 3rd, there in Fort Mill. And then on Thursday, July the 4th, mm. they will have one of the events that we love mm -hmm. here, the 52nd Annual Firing of the Cannons. Yes, this is such a fun historical event. Um, our short, The Short family, they have been doing this. This is their 51st year. There was only one year that they could not do it. <laughs> um, so they will be um, actually firing the cannons. They are our resident cannoneers. Um, we'll have a special ceremony with music, um, and then we tell the history of the cannons and all of that during the ceremony. Um, it's just a fun way to kick off July 4th morning before you enjoy your downtown merchants or go back, you know, enjoy the pool and your uh, outdoor cookouts that's right <laughs> to celebrate so you've got two ways to celebrate fourth of july you can do it the day before and or on thursday july the fourth for sure the firing of the cannons if you've never experienced that in fort mill you've got to experience them it's great those cannons are there year round yes and i've I had explained that to someone because they thought we the town brought them in i'm like no they're you could take a picture beside <laughs> them all year round all year long but people also didn't realize that they were they can be used. Working. Right. Working. Yes, working. working. working cannons, so that's great yeah. that they are, but it is such an experience. So check that out that definitely is, when you can. Yeah. And that is at the bandstand mm -hmm. on Main Street at 10 a.m. And people can, should, if you're going to attend, you might want to bring um, ear protections um, to do. I mean, it's loud. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're bringing little ones. So when we brought Collins when she was little, yeah. I brought her some ear protection for sure. We're speaking with Jacana Hester. She is with the town of Fort Mill. She's the events coordinator. You've got your Fort Mill Farmer's Market still continuing now through October 26th. Yes, that's every sa every Saturday at Veterans Park, 106 North White Street from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, we always have coffee, produce, baked goods, and just so much more. So just stop by there and get uh, your all your stuff for your cookout for the weekend. <laughs> that's with right. meats, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Now that uh, that has grown too, right? So it, it used to be in a parking lot. Now it's all there at Veterans Park. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. And we always have, um, you know, thirty to forty mm -hmm. something vendors there yeah. every every Saturday. So it's just a great time. Everyone loves coming out, grabbing their coffee, and shopping. All right, <laughs> perfect. Okay, can't beat it. 
Um, well, again, Jacana Hester is with the town of Fort Mill. She's the events coordinator. Jacana, we still have uh, probably about uh, less than a minute left. Is there anything else uh, coming up on the horizon for the town of Fort Mill? Um, well, yeah, there's lots of exciting things <laughs> all, all the time. You know, we're always thinking forward and planning uh, lots of good stuff. Yeah, but... Yeah, we'll be talking about the, all this stuff later, and uh, we're pre- preparing now, you know, for 2025. So God, just so lots crazy. of fun things coming, and, and, yeah, thinking about the Strawberry Festival next year and, and oh all the good goodness. things coming with that. So Boy. lots of exciting things coming up. But and before you, long, we'll be seeing the scarecrows as we, as we yes, go down. So yeah. that, that'll probably be the next thing you're talking about. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. That. Yeah, and I don't want to think about fall yet. I want to enjoy the <laughs> summer a little longer. Jacana, the stores <laughs> already have it ready to go. I know. In the back of the... And Christmas, too. They're ready to go. (laughs) On July 5th, all that stuff moves to the front, and all the summer stuff moves to the back. Yeah. Now, I am an early decorator for Christmas, and y'all tease me for that, but I can't get down with it in July. (laughs) Right. I just put it up. Exactly. (laughs) Give me till October. Right. I can't make myself buy anything in July. (laughs) That's right. I'm the same way. Christmas decorations. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Unless it's like 80% off. <laughs> so. For sure. So, all right. Well, we ate up enough time. Jacana, thank you so much. That's all we needed. 